the respiratory control centers are located in the brainstem. The PONS receives information from the lungs regarding inflation volumes or peripheral chemoreceptor PO2 and PCO2 levels, as well as baroreceptor pressures. This information is integrated and processed, then relayed onto the medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata is the most inferior portion of the brain, connecting directly to the top of the spinal cord. This region controls the respiratory muscles from the input from the pons. The central chemoreceptors are located here, and they detect primarily hydrogen ions, or pH. Carbon dioxide, and therefore hydrogen ions, is the primary mechanism to initiate a breath. This is illustrated in a contest in a swimming pool. Who can last the longest underwater before taking a breath? The first person does a series of big, deep breaths before the final big breath. This maximizes the alveolar oxygen levels. The second person does a series of rapid, shallow breaths before the final big breath. This reduces the most CO2 from the lungs and then give it one final air from the deep breath. The second person will last the longest because it will take longer for their PCO2 levels to increase and stimulate the central chemoreceptors which initiates the next breath. Peripheral chemoreceptors are found in many places throughout the body. The carotid bodies, located in the carotid sinus, monitors oxygen levels to the brain. The chemoreceptors in the aortic arch serve to monitor oxygen levels as blood is being delivered throughout the body. The peripheral chemoreceptors monitor oxygen, carbon dioxide, and pH of the peripheral circulation. These chemoreceptors are influenced to a greater degree by the oxygen levels when compared to the central chemoreceptors in the brain. It is the peripheral chemoreceptors that influence the respiration rate during exercise, plays a role in climatization at altitude, and the respiratory response to hypoxia or low oxygen levels. Studies have also shown a connection between the peripheral chemoreceptors and a number of pathological conditions such as congestive heart failure, hypertension, and sleep-disordered breathing.